My name is Larry Janeski. I went to Bullard Haven's Regional Vocational Technical School in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I graduated in 1982. I graduated from Carpentry Shop. Today, I own uh, a collection of companies. All of them fix homes. We fix problems in homes. When I grew up, we were on the second floor of a three-family house. I had two brothers and a much younger sister and my mom and my stepfather and there were two bedrooms for all of us. When I was growing up, college was not an option in my family. Uh, no one in my family ever went to college and we didn't have any money. So uh, I went to Bullard Havens uh, as my older brother did. I loved it. I, I, I loved uh, carpentry and uh, really just the trades in general. And when I graduated, I got a call, can you build a house? And I said, okay, I, I can, but I'm 18 years old, is that okay? And you know, there's this long silence on the phone and I, I, there was a building boom going on. And so all the real carpenters were busy, but I got an opportunity to build my first house. I knew what that was like because in Bullard Havens, we built houses and I was comfortable being on a job site because I had been on a job site in high school. So it, if I hadn't gone to Bullard Havens, I never would have even attempted that. And I built 23 houses over the next five years. Then um, in 1987, when the build, that same building bubble had burst, I got into basement waterproofing. Today I have 30 patents on different things that I developed. Then I said, hey, you know, can I teach other contractors to do this too and sell them my product? And I started a dealer network in basement waterproofing and crawl space repair and basement finishing and uh, home energy conservation. And today I have a thousand employees all over the United States and have um, hundreds of contractors that use my products and, and methods that I've developed. As a, a teacher and, and a trainer, I see people who limit themselves because they don't have high expectations and don't expect much out of themselves for their life, for their future. Oh, there's no question in my mind. I would go to trade school over regular high school, hands down. You know, people don't hire you because you know how to do high school algebra, okay? They don't hire you because you know history or, you know, you went to gym, okay? They hire you because you know how to do something that creates value for their customers. So if you go to a trade school, that's where you're gonna learn that. You're gonna be way ahead when you're 17 and a half or 18. You're gonna be way ahead of the, you know, a high school student. And, and then you don't have to go to college. The building trades is a great place to be because there's a shortage of, of skilled trades people. Uh, so if you go to a tech school, you're going to have a job. I mean, there's a shortage of plumbers and electricians and HVAC contractors and carpenters. Put yourself ahead of the game and go, go to a trade school. It is absolutely not about how smart you are. It's not about where you come from. It's not about your family or your college education. I didn't go to college. It's about your own self-image and it's about your ability to focus your attention. I have a daily blog called Think Daily, and it's available for free at thinkdaily.com. And I've been writing a short message of the day for 12 years now. Uh, and I have one for uh, Think Daily and one Think Daily for business people. So that's free, and I would encourage anybody to uh, sign up for that. I also have created a School of Entrepreneurship. Uh, which is an online course. Um, it's a three and a half year course. So it's like a university level course for contractors uh, to learn how to be better leaders and attract the results that, that, that they want. And I feel like if I put good things out in the world, it will come back to me. And it always does. You want to put out good things in the world. And when you have a setback, you just know if I just keep doing good things every day and keep creating value for other people, it'll work out for me.